And we begin with breaking news out of the Nebraska legislature. Senators voted to pass a bill that affects gender affirming care for and abortion in our state with a vote of 33 to 15 LB 574 passed with an emergency clause and will become effective immediately after Governor Pillen signs it. Three News Now reporter Alex Whitney at the Capitol with the latest. There hasn't been a bill with a bigger impact this session than LB 574. The controversial bill that looks to ban gender affirming care and abortion brought hundreds of protesters to the Capitol. But despite the pleas from those protesters, doctors and businesses alike, the legislature would vote to pass the controversial bill. The 2023 legislative session has been defined by the ongoing debate over LB 574. Since February, there hasn't been a single day of debate that hasn't included some discussion about the bill, and it all came to a head during Friday's final reading of the bill. Hours before its 2 p.m. starts, opponents filled the rotunda of the Capitol, chanting, shouting, doing whatever they could to make their voices heard by lawmakers. Disruptions in the chamber put a stop to debate for a short time as opponents shouted at senators and threw dirty tampons from the balcony onto the floor. Those efforts to stop the bill would ultimately be unsuccessful and LB 574 would eventually pass its final reading. While the vote is final, the battle over gender affirming care looks like it is far from over. It will take some time for the consequences of Friday's vote to play out in Nebraska, but legal challenges to LB 574 are looking like all but a guarantee. Because when the state gets sued, that is on the taxpayer's dime. So in terms of being good stewards of taxpayer dollars, if you're voting for this bill today, you are literally throwing taxpayer money down the drain because you know the legal challenges are coming. Stay tuned later tonight. We'll be talking more about today's vote on LB 574 and some of the consequences that could come from passing this controversial legislation. Here in Lincoln, Alex Whitney, 3 News Now.